Today's tech tip is about the qualitative side of data and how artificial intelligence can be used to probe attitudes. One way to understand the feelings behind the results is sentiment analysis. It helps us to see why things happened the way they did, and it's where the word cloud shines. Word clouds treat text as data. Sources like online reviews, questionnaires, social media, and focus group transcripts can help figure out the emotional tone of the responses. Word clouds are a powerful way to create a visual representation showing the relative impact of individual words. The most frequently used or prominent words appear the largest. The color of each word can show whether it is positive, negative, or neutral. The data source can be from a text document or spreadsheet. The first step is to clean up the input, which is a topic for another day's tech tip. Once the source data is cleaned up, it's time to get to work. The most flexible way to create useful word clouds is to write Python code. You'll need an IDE, which is an app for writing the code, and you'll need to speak Python. In case you don't write code, you can work with an AI bot to create the Python code and paste it into the IDE. As an alternative, chatbots can make word clouds. There are plugins for text documents that are fast and relatively effortless. The price you pay for speed and ease is less control of the output. Airbnb publishes its data online for analysts to massage, reconfigure, and publish. We'll use data from reviews of New York City Airbnb properties to show how it looks. These word clouds come from an analysis of more than 800,000 records. They differ because we apply different statistical tools. We could also ask it to analyze subsets by variables like neighborhood, price, number of rooms, what have you, and use code to apply filters before making the word cloud. It's a good practice to create multiple word clouds using the same code. The output will be different every time. There's no one right answer, only relationships to be evaluated. And that's today's Bite Size Tech Tip. There are more videos on our YouTube channel. Check them out. We also have a blog with scripts and details. Links are in the description. You can like the videos. We always appreciate the props. Drop us a line in the comments. Interaction builds community. Subscribe to the channel to get notified whenever we upload a new video. But most of all, get with AI before it gets to you.